Uh, the first item is that the IMACTI of the 4th of December 2018 and the 21st of February 2019 have been circulated. Are they agreed? Agreed. I'd like to welcome the Minister for Employment Affairs and Social Protection, Regina Doherty, and her officials to the meeting for consideration of the Civil Registration Bill 2019. Um, the bill was referred to the Select Committee by Dáil Éireann on the 19th of February 2019. In order to provide for the smooth running of the meeting, any member acting in substitution for a member of the committee should formally notify the clerk now if they haven't done so already, and that's done. Divisions on the bill will be taken as they arise, and members attending the meeting in accordance with Standing Order 95.3 should be aware that, pursuant to that Standing Order, he or she may move his or her amendment but may not participate in voting on the amendment. We move straight to the bill. Um, Section 1, no amendments. Uh, put it that Section 1 stand part of the bill. Is that agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Section 2, no amendments. Does Section 2 stand part of the bill? Agreed. Section 3, no amendments. Does Section 3 stand part of the bill? Agreed. Section 4, no amendments. Does Section 4 stand part of the bill? Agreed. Section 5, no amendments. Does Section 5 stand part of the bill? Agreed. Section 6, no amendments. Does Section 6 stand part of the bill? Agreed. Agreed. Section 7, that se section, no amendments, that section 7 stand part of the bill? Agreed. Section 8, no amendments, that section 8 stand part of the bill? Is that agreed? Agreed. agreed. Section 9, no amendments, that section 9 stand part of the bill? Is that agreed? Agreed. Section 10, no amendments, that section 10 stand part of the bill? Is that agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Section 11, no amendments, that section 11 stand part of the bill? Is that agreed? Agreed. agreed. Section 12, Amendment 1, in the name of Deputy Brady, new section. Deputy Brady. Uh, thanks, Gahir. Look, um, well, I'm going to be moving this uh, uh, amendment. I, I, I think it's a, an important um, an, um, amendment, and it amends the uh, Children and Family Relations Act of 2015, Section 1, so that Part 9 shall come into operation 54 months from enactment or on uh, such earlier day or, or days that the Minister may appoint uh, by order. Um, and the Act as it stands currently only allows for Part 9 to be commenced by order of uh, the Minister. And as we're over 46 months since the Children and Family Relations Act 2015 was enacted and key parts have not yet uh, commenced, this amendment uh, proposes uh, that it uh, puts a, a deadline of October uh, 2019 as the latest date Part 9 uh, can be uh, commenced. And I am aware, Minister, that Parts 2 and 3 are not included in this uh, amendment, and they must be commenced in tandem, uh, but they would not have uh, been permissible here under, under standing orders. Uh, since uh, the Children and Family Relationship Act 2015 was enacted in April uh, 2015, we've had a, um, a referendum on, on civil marriage equality. Uh, the Marriage Act 2 amendment builds aiming to fix typos and six missed deadlines uh, from the Department of, of Health, um, and all of that spanning over a, a time frame um, of four years. And during, during those uh, four years, same six, six uh, parents have conceived, uh, they've raved, raised their children, and during all of that time, uh, their families have not been recognised, and there are some very uh, important and, and crucial civil rights absent uh, from uh, the family unit. And indeed, Minister, I outlined and, and detailed all of that uh, during the second stage. And I, I'm acutely aware that the Minister and indeed uh, committee members are aware as to how serious uh, this is and how vulnerable it actually leaves uh, families. And the legislation that was proclaimed um, as the legislation that would embrace their family formation uh, before the law has now turned into a point of headache and disappointment as deadlines have been missed uh, time and time again um, and with many uh, delays uh, announced. Uh, parts uh, 2, 3 and 9, as I mentioned, in second stage were originally uh, supposed uh, to be commenced uh, one year after the enactment, uh, which was April uh, 2016. And the delays have happened, and we can't fix them here and now, but we can ensure uh, that commencement of Part 9, of which this bill is useless without, uh, will be done so, uh, will be done in a reasonable uh, time frame. 
And I, I think it's important to point out that, as the Minister mentioned during the second stage debate, that, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll quote, the Minister says, a small amount of administrative work uh, needs to be done in the Department of Health and the HSE. Um, so the amendment that I, I brought forward would ensure that this would um, be done within the next eight months, uh, which, from what the Minister has told us, I, I, I think you know, it's a, a reasonable amendment to put that time frame on it. And so the Minister will probably give us a, a deadline in which our department and the Department of Health are working to, um, and, you know, I've no reason to doubt that, but unfortunately we've had too many deadlines and time frames, um, you know, passed and, and unfortunately deadlines missed. And so I, I will be uh, moving this motion. I, I think it's a, a, an important motion and uh, we owe it to uh, the families out there who have been left vulnerable, uh, left waiting, um, and essentially their, their, their civil rights um, being denied as well. So, thanks, Gary. Thank, thank you, Deputy Brady. We won't put words into the Minister's mouth. We let her speak for herself. Minister. I'm well able to do so, as you know. So, um, uh, thank you, uh, Chairperson and Deputy. Um, but as deputies are aware, uh, this bill is being fast-tracked with the cooperation of every single member of the House uh, of both Dáil Éireann and Shannon Éireann, um, because not only is it a priority for government, it's a priority for the women who have been waiting, as Deputy Brady said, for far too long um, for the enactment. Um, and to say that it's the only non-Brexit bill that's been put through the House, um, I think, should give the impact of how important we actually all uh, think that this particular piece of legislation is, and I do want to sue, acknowledge the support. Um, the effect of the amendment would be to bring Part 9 into operation by default on or before the 6th of October 2019, if commencement um, of the Act hasn't happened before that. But given that um, I've already stated in section or in the second stage of the bill, and I'll say it again for the, the record, um, I've no intentions of delaying this bill. In fact, as soon as this bill has been passed by both houses of uh, the Oireachtas, I will be commencing the bill immediately. So I don't have a dis difficulty with the 6th of October deadline. I'm not sure where you magically got the 6th of October from, but I don't have an issue with it because I have long um, surpassed that particular deadline. But I will be opposing the amendment on the basis of that, um, as drafted, the amendment would make commencement of Part 9 of the, of the bill the sole responsibility of the Minister for Justice and Equality, who is the relevant Minister of the 2015 Act that the Deputy has re uh, referenced. And the amendment, as it stands today, removes the requirement uh, for that Minister, who happens to be the Minister for Justice and Equality, um, with regard to his obligations to consult with me as the Line Minister with regard to the GRO and the, our Registrations Department um, with relation to enacting uh, or any changes or heretofore um, considerations that might be made with regard to the Act between now and then. The arrangement for consulting was provided for in the existing provisions of Section 17 um, of the Children and Family Relations Act of 2015 as it was then drafted and it was put in for a good reason insofar as that this piece of legislation involves numerous departments and numerous different ministers' responsibilities and so therefore to take away my responsibility doesn't seem to make much sense and so on that basis uh, I will be opposing it because it takes away my responsibilities with regard to the legislation that I'm responsible for. I'd also like to make deputies aware that the other piece of the picture here, as has been referenced to, is the commencement of Part 2 and 3 of the Act, which is the responsibility of the Minister for Health. Um, I want to flag to the Chair that the Department of Health has indicated to me that a short technical amendment may be needed at report stage, and so I'm just giving you notice that I would be bringing that amendment if it's needed. The Department is engaging with the Office of the Attorney General, seeking specific legal advice in relation to an issue regarding interaction between certain transactional uh, provisions under Section 26 of the Act and that the certificate to be issued by a donor-assisted human reproduction facility, DAHR, to the intending parents to enable her or them to register the birth of the child born after or following a DAHR procedure may be required and so I'm flagging. Um, it may not be, the advice may come back to say no, that the existing provision is fine, but it may not be. Um, and so I'm just flagging to you that I may be bringing a report stage amendment on that particular uh, provision then. Do you want to comment? Um, I hear what you're saying that it's been fast tracked, and you know that you hope to have it in, in place before the, the time frame in which I've laid out in, in the amendment, uh, the 6th of October. But unfortunately, you know, look. 
we can't take that at face value because um, assurances, guarantees, uh, timeframes, deadlines have, have been given in the past, um, and they've all uh, fallen uh, to the way uh, to the wayside. Um, so. I think it's important that there is a, a, a time frame built into the, the, the legislation, um, and that's why you know we, we put this in uh, 15 four months from the original date. You know that gives eight months from from now up until then to. You know, if there are small little tec technical amendments that need to be made at, at report stage, that's fine. You know, and, and I'm not saying that the uh, the failure, or the fault, or the, the delays are, are with yourself or um, the officials within the department of social protection. I'm acutely aware that there's a number of different um, departments dealing with it, um, and I have cited, you know, the Department of Health. You know, they've given six um, deadlines, six time frames, and they've broken, breached, uh, left families down, um, you know, successive uh, times. So I'm, I'm going to be pushing this. I, I, I think it's an, an important, um, you know, because we, we owe it to the vulnerable uh, families who are out there, have been denied uh, their civil rights. Um, so we, we need to give them, um, you know, their, their rights. We, we, we need to ensure that their, their families uh, can be reared with all of the rights that they're, they're, they're entitled to. We, we've passed referendums, and you know this is the one bit that, that needs to be done, the most important bit. So I, I, I will be moving the amendment. I, I, I think we owe it to all of the, the, the families out there who are actually watching this. And since we, we um, you know, dealt with it at, at second stage, I, I've been contacted, and I'm sure other deputies and senators have been contacted as to how important this is. So you know, there's a lot of people watching here, and you know. They won't appreciate us uh, breaching or, or breaking any more time frames. I, I take what you're saying as your word that it is being fast tracked. I've no reason to doubt that. Um, you know, and that should be grounds enough to, 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 to get this date uh, built into the legislation. Then, Thank you, Deputy Minister. So, as to reply, you don't need to take my word that it's fast tracked. We're here. It is being fast tracked. Report stage has been requested next week. Although I'm not sure if the business committee can facilitate me or not, but they will facilitate me at the earliest next day to do report stage. Then the doll will have finished this piece of legislation and it will go to the Shannon. And I've absolutely no doubt that I'll get the cooperation that I got from the doll deputies in the Shannon, maybe even more. Mm -hmm. So, as I said earlier on, I'm not holding back commencing this legislation. As soon as it's passed in the Shannon, it will be commenced. But on the basis of that you're diminishing the rights and the responsibilities that I have as a minister towards those vulnerable people that you're talking about, although I don't think that any of them are vulnerable, and certainly not the ones that I've met over the last couple of months, but they do they are entitled to their rights. And that's the reason we're all here, Chair. So on the basis of that, I'm not willing to give up my responsibilities and obligations under my remit. Uh, I will be opposing this legislation or this uh, okay, amendment. Ju just to conclude your amendment, um, the choices of, uh, are to obviously press it or not, or in light of the Minister's specific concern that her responsibilities are being diminished by the amendment, whether you want to consider withdrawing and reintroducing a revised amendment at report stage. The choice is yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, I take on board what the, 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 the minister is saying. Um, I'll actually, I, I will withdraw it now. Um, I'll resubmit it um, at um, the stage. Of, to, 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 yeah. to reflect the concerns. To, of, to, to reflect the concerns, Minister. Okay. <coughs> That's uh, section 12, Amendment 1, the new section in the name of Deputy Brady has been withdrawn. So section 12 stand part of the bill. Is that agreed? Agreed. Okay. Uh, say that the title to the bill, that, that this be the title to the bill, an act to amend the Civil Registration Act 2004, to amend the Civil Registration Amendment okay. Act 2014, and to provide for related matters. Is that agreed? Agreed. In accordance with uh, Standing Order 19, the following message will be sent by the clerk uh, to the Clerk of the Dáil. The Select Committee on Social Protection has completed its consideration of social welfare of the, sorry, of the Civil Registration uh, Bill 2019 and has made no amendments thereto. Thank you. Members happy with the message? I would like to thank the Minister and our officials for attending today and that concludes the business of the meeting. Thank you.